Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Andrews. I had Mr. Andrews class during the peak of my, shall we say, squirrely years in high school. I was disruptive, I was annoying, I was a nuisance, I was a distraction, I was a class clown, I was that kid every teacher feared having in their class. And yet, even though I was all that, Mr. Andrews was a unflappable force of encouragement. Now, I'm not saying he didn't hold the line with me. I'm saying while he held the line, he also sort of showed me that another line was available. So he took what most adults, understandably, saw as an annoyance, and he helped me develop it into an asset. He looked past the superficial layer of fear and hurt that was acting out, and he saw something underneath. He saw me. Mr. Andrews was a patient and dedicated locksmith that helped me unlock my potential. Now here's the whole reason I'm telling you about Mr. Andrews. I first had his class in 1997. I did not thank Mr. Andrews until 2010. That's 13 years later. Oftentimes, one of the most difficult things about being a parent, a teacher, a caring adult is this nagging fear that maybe you're not making a difference. Listen to me, you have no idea the impact you are making right now. All right, I mean, think back to when you were a kid, right? About sort of how clueless you and I were to the amazing adults around us who gave and gave and then gave some more, right? Our brains as kids didn't yet have the perspective or the life experience, right? We didn't have the eyes to see what these amazing adults were giving to us, really a gift. And yet years later, right, when you and I think back about the people that mattered, those catalytic moments, there are names that float to the top of our minds, like Mr. Andrews. So I say this all to you to say this, you've got to have hope. Right now, it might be your 1997. I want you to trust that your 2010 is forthcoming.